What's up, everybody? I'm excited to announce the release of three custom CNC molds by WM Bio and Driven CNC. I have been in this game for a while now, making 3D printed molds, running my own bait company, uh, designing probably hundreds of baits at this point. And I reached out to Mike Funk at Driven CNC and said, hey, man, like, let's make a mold line based on my designs that I've tested, that I have for sale. I want to be like the first lure company where you can actually either buy the lure if you want to fish it, or if you want to make your own, you can buy the mold. Today we're releasing the Kraken Craw mold, the Bio Craw mold, and the Whipworm mold. I make all of the lures that you see on WMBio.com. You're getting the exact molds that I use on a daily basis to make the lures that you can buy online. So what's the benefit to you in buying these molds from me? Well, if you're unsure whether you like the bait, just buy a bag of baits, bro, and you fish it, and you can see if you like it or not. Then if you do, you can buy the mold and go crazy and make your own. You can make your own for your personal use, for your buddies, or to sell. So know what you're thinking. Dude, that's kind of dumb. Like, you're letting people make the same baits that you're trying to sell them? How is that going to work? Well, number one, not everybody wants to make lures, so I can sell them my lures. Number two, those that want to make my designs now have the ability to do so, and, you know, hey, I make a little money. It's better than having someone just knock off my design and I get nothing out of it. That's the way I look at it. But if you can produce better colors than I can, you got better hookups, you know, hey man, more power to you. I started this YouTube channel and this whole journey to help lure makers make lures. Like that's my whole goal. To build small lure companies from the ground up because what we have right now in the industry is like these big private equity firms that own like just about every lure company out there. And the innovation just is like them ripping off stuff from Japan. And this is only the first batch of molds to come out. We got many more in the pipeline. And I'm super excited for what's coming down the pipeline. I'm super excited for what we've already done. And I know you're going to find this first batch super useful, right? The Kraken Craw. I crushed the bass on that this year. <sighs> Kraken Craw, baby. Um, you know, the whole design uh, concept around that thing was... We're throwing big swim baits. Why don't we throw big creature class crawl baits? And that's where the cracking crawl came in. And man, flipping and pitching that thing in the lily pads where I fish, just destroyed them. And if you, wherever you fish a lizard, you'd fish it. Wherever you fish a big creature bait, you'd fish it. It's a sweet bait. Why is my voice cracking? I'm 53 for God's sakes. Then we have the whip worm, which, you know, if you've watched my channel at all, you've seen was designed by AI. It's a super, super fine pintail that is just absolutely killer on any sort of drop shot, free fall rig, anything like that. I absolutely crush them on just a straight net head on this thing. It's killer. I don't fish for trout, but my buddies that do say it kills the trout. It's just a, my favorite bait for any sort of finesse presentation whatsoever. It's killer. And next up, we have the bio crawl, which I really wanted to make a crawl that had a lot of great action. Number one, had a very unique profile with lots of little appendages coming off of it and really had some rigging options that you don't normally see. So you can rig it with the concave side uh, down and if, if you reel it in kind of weightless or with a very light weight, it's gonna get right on the surface and kind of flutter those legs and almost be like a topwater lure. Uh, if you flip it over and rig it from the flat side through the top, your hook point will be inside that little concave hook slot and it's completely weedless presentation. Fish a lot around lily pads and all kinds of cover and I wanted something I could just throw in there and not ever have to worry about it getting hung up. And the bio crawl is that lure.